is going on everyone? Uh, I'm about to go to the gym right now, it's four o'clock, and I'm gonna go work some arms, and I get a lot of requests uh, from a lot of people asking to record more arm workouts, so that's why I wanted to vlog today. So we're gonna go ahead, take some pre-workout, and then head to the gym. So before I go to the gym, I wanna talk to you about something. So when I was at bodybuilding.com in the lobby waiting for my Uber to pick me up to bring me back to the airport to come back home, uh, Shelby sent me this text and it really hit me hard. Let me read it to you. It says, just a thought, remember to take a minute and let all this cool stuff that is happening sink in. Five years ago, you were asking for votes just to get a shot at being part of bodybuilding.com and you weren't getting paid by any sponsor and now you're clearly one of bodybuilding.com's biggest athletes and that really hit me hard because I was sitting there and when she sent that to me, I just looked up and I was sitting in the lobby of bodybuilding.com just looking around at you know, my photos all over the wall. On the TV, it has me working out and it was just a crazy experience and a lot of the times, I totally, forget to get in the moment and I always want to push for more and anytime you know I hit a goal I'm always happy but it's not for a very long time uh, because I'm always constantly thinking I can get to this next level but I need to learn to get in the moment when I read that text it hit me so hard because that company was a company that I wanted to be a part of for years and years. When I first started to work out, bodybuilding.com was the company that you wanted to be with. That is where I got all my information and stuff. I would read everything. That's where I bought all my supplements and stuff. And when I became a part of that team back in 2013, it was a huge dream that I accomplished. I'm just truly blessed. God has blessed me so much because I'm a part of bodybuilding.com, muscle tech, and I'm able to fly all over the world to meet people, to inspire people. And that was something I wanted to do from the very get-go. And I told Shelby this the other day that I never, honestly guys, ever doubted that I was gonna get to where I'm at today. I just knew I was gonna be able to do this for a living. I don't know what it was. I guess you know that's what you need to have to do what I do or anything that you have a goal. You have to believe in yourself. And I never doubted me. It was just a matter of when that was gonna happen. Was it gonna be a year from now? Was it gonna be five years? But I just knew in my heart that this is what I was supposed to be doing was being in the fitness industry. And now that I can say I'm truly like a fitness model, like this is my job, it is just, it's just unreal. Uh, and I have to constantly remind myself to get in the moment to actually, you know, think about all the things that I accomplished and really appreciate it. Uh, because you know I'm all of the time thinking, okay, well I can be so much better, I can do that, can do this, and a lot of the times I don't sit down and actually really thank God for what I have and you know be appreciative. And for any of you that have goals, that is a great thing because of course if I didn't have goals, I would never be where I'm at today. And just be appreciative to what you have now and to really enjoy where you're at in life. But that's really all I wanted to say. I know it was a long rant, so now let's go take the pre-workout and then head to the gym. So now take my pre-workout, I'm taking the Amino Energy, so not on my Vapor X5 just yet. And even if I was, I would not be taking it because it is, uh, I said it earlier it was four o'clock, I lied to you guys, it was actually five o'clock. Uh, time has been like just a vapor to me because it goes by so quickly uh, with that kid. Uh, now it's 5.50, so I'm gonna get to the gym pretty late tonight on a Sunday night, which nobody is there, which I love. I love going, I said which like so many times. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I love going on a Sunday because nobody's there. It's great to film. So I'm gonna take a scoop of this, uh, which I already have in here, mix that up, drink that. And I feel like I'm a teenager again because I have acne on my freaking back. I don't know if y'all can see that. I got two bumps on my shoulder and it's driving me nuts. So I'm gonna drink this. Now we're gonna head to the gym. What is going on everyone? So a much requested video on arms. Uh, like I said, a lot of people have been asking me for new arm workouts and so I decided, hey, give y'all what you want. So this is a very high rep workout. So, you know, you watch my videos. Most of the time I'm lifting uh, rep ranges right around like, uh, you know, eight to 12 reps, somewhere in there. This workout was all about 15 reps and it was a superset. So what I would do is superset uh, biceps straight into a tricep exercise. So the very first exercise I did was an easy bar curl. It was five sets of 15 reps superset with easy bar skull crushers and that's what you're watching right now and it was a hard workout because my body's not used to lifting uh, right around the 15 rep range and sometimes I would go to 20 reps depending on the weight but I was always trying to 
add enough weight where I would be hitting failure at that 15 rep uh, mark. Uh, and like I said, it was a great workout because my body's just not used to it. And that is what uh, you know I like to do is change things up. I don't like to consistently do the same thing because your body gets used to stuff and it will stop growing. But in order for you to grow, you need to change things up where your body has to adapt to that. So if you're not getting sore anymore and your workouts aren't hard, then your body will not continue to grow. So that is what I always preach, is always changing things up. So the next exercise went into a cable straight bar push down, uh, four sets of 15 reps, superset with alternating dumbbell curls. Now the alternating dumbbell curls were super hard because my forearms were even hurting because how long you have to hold the dumbbells because when you do alternating for 15 reps, you know, you're doing like the rep range of 30, it feels like, because that's the same like time under tension that you're doing because, uh, you know, you have to do 15 reps on each arm. And so what I'm really trying to focus is focus on is bringing my pinkies in, get that full rotation. So I start off with like a hammer curl. And then when I come up to curl, I'm rotating my hand all the way in and trying to rotate my pinky in as much as possible to contract that bicep as hard as I can. Uh, and like I said, this was extremely hard because even my forearms just holding those dumbbells for that long was uh, you know, super tough. Uh, and then after that went into uh, straight bar curls. I did four sets of 15 reps. Uh, and then superset with a machine dips for 15 reps as well. And then on the last set of these, I did a triple drop set, which I did not record because it would just take way too long. So what I did, uh, right now you're seeing me curl, I think with a hundred pound barbell. And then when I did the last set, uh, the triple drop set, I went from the hundreds to the eighties to the sixties and then down to the forties. Uh, I was wanting to do dips, uh, body weight dips, but this gym does not have anywhere to do dips on unless I was on the other side of the gym. And if I went from the straight bar curls and then walked all the way over there to the dips, that would have been way too long in between the supersets. So that's why I did this uh, machine instead. Uh, after uh, the dips and stuff, went into a preacher curl. Uh, four sets of 15 reps again and then on the last set the four set did a double drop set on here and supersetting this with bent over uh, dumbbell kickbacks uh, and then I did a double drop set on that as well on the last set uh, the kickbacks are something that I used to do a whole lot of when I first uh, was getting started in the gym and stuff and I think it has a lot to do with my tricep development now. I saw someone uh, in the gym years back, I mean this was probably like 10 to 12 years ago, it was a guy that uh, I always looked up to in the gym and he had some massive triceps. And so uh, I asked him you know, what he did and he would focus on tricep kickbacks. And so when I was younger, that's all I used to do. And I think that is, has a lot to do with how big my triceps are now is from those kickbacks. So after uh, those superset went into seated uh, dumbbell curls, both arms at the same time. So I couldn't go extremely heavy here because at this point, my biceps and triceps are pretty shot from doing all these reps. So I did four sets of these for 15 reps superset with rope pushdowns and on the last set I did a double drop set on both of these exercises so the rope you see here are a little bit longer than your traditional ropes you see at a gym so I love this uh, rope apparatus because it's longer so I'm able to stretch that rope out a little bit farther than if it was just like a normal uh, size rope. Uh, I don't like the ropes that are really short because you're not able to pull it apart at the bottom as much. Uh, so the last superset was this. It was a um, single arm uh, cable push down, uh, four sets of 15 reps superset with one arm concentration curls with the cable. And you'll see that in a second. So what I would do is do one arm, go to the other arm on triceps, and then go straight into the concentration curls, the one arm, and then to the other arm. And I went back to back on this exercise. So I did not rest. Uh, in between because you know when you do a superset let's say I'm doing a bicep 
tricep and then I would rest for around a minute. This I would go straight uh, back to back so I'd never rest in between uh, the superset. And that's the end of the workout guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna try out this workout, just scroll down to the description box. It will be written down there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell. It will notify you each time I upload a new video. All right, guys, peace. And Shelby made some apple cider vinegar, sugar-free stuff that comes in like the instant no packets. What? No vinegar.